To, to John Stewart. Your hair has gone silver in recent years. Currents of slick metal tracing backwards like a river, hinting to the yarmulke you are known to wear at times. Your smile is one part smug, one part intelligent, and one part a dream. I watch your political commentary in the safe haven of my kitchen alone. My parents and brother working the graveyard shift. I repeat, I watch your political commentary Alone. <laughs> I eat my dinner as a youthful courtier while you deliver insightful, spot-on, and humorous commentary on world issues. Your jokes all hit the ground running, going for the gold, and the finish line is my heart. Your late-night television prog program is an hour-long Eden for liberal youth. Lush, green with progressive ideology, but amidst the green, I see the piercing blue of your eyes. <laughs> Let's talk about Sarah Palin's recent teleprompter disaster in Iowa, John, and I'll laugh and remember your performance in Wishful Thinking, the 1996 rom-com starring Drew Barrymore. Your hair wasn't gray then, John. Yes, you were making movies before I was even born, and yes, you're married. Yes, you proposed to your wife via crossword puzzle, which is despicably adorable, but I could take her in a fight easy. Unlike Tracy, I haven't had so many years to become weak and frail. <laughs> I hate myself. Our eventual romance aside, how do you do it? How does one hold talent within this cage people call a body? It is such a gift to carry both wisdom and comedy on your shoulders, to bear the brunt of power, to be able to change someone's mind with one witty line. I'm still a 16-year-old girl. Sometimes I can't open car doors, but I look at my hands and I know I can hold potential. I hear people laugh and within those crashing sound waves is change. When I'm told that our world is broken or our society is fucked, I say no. There is so much possibility here and now within all these people around me and when I'm not afraid, I dare say there is something special within me as well. I know there is stardust within the molecular compounds of my skin and when I see my reflection, I look in the black of my eyes and amidst that plunge of nothingness, I see a beginning. I see the youth of my generation making something better. I see girls daring to tell their moms they don't love boys, they love other girls. I see young black men fighting for college scholarships saying no to a life of dollar meals and torn wallpaper never fixed. I see my niece who's currently in her mama's tummy, one day taking radical steps to love herself in a world with a cosmetics, cosmetics industry making millions off of girls like her thinking they aren't beautiful. I see myself graduating from college even though neither of my parents did. I see my mom crying when I get my diploma and every argument being forgiven. I see myself living in a generation of change and I see my, generation, my generation's children being even better. I see things getting better. And Jon Stewart, even if things never work out between us, thank you for inspiring me and being a gorgeous man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Megan.